Hi. Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to look at a problem that looks a bit complex, but we will try to actually, you know, deconstruct and solve it in a manner which makes it easier. Kim, May, and Yanti collect stamps. So these three kids, they collect stamps. Kim and May have 220 stamps, more than Yanti. There's a reference here. So when you add the stamps with Kim and May, what they have is 220 stamps more than Yanti. Now, the second spin comes here. Yanti and May have 140 stamps more than Kim. See, the constant here is May on both the cases. Kim and Yanti are the ones who are changing here. Um, one observation that you can make is that Kim actually has more stamps than Yanti because when Kim and May are added, they have 220 more than Yanti, whereas Yanti and May have only 140 stamps more than Kim. So that's a logical conclusion that we can make, but we are not going to use that assumption in this particular problem. Kim and Yanti have 500 stamps. So that's another piece of information uh, that we have. How many stamps does May have? So first, let's go to the first one. Kim and May have 220 stamps more than Yanti. Now, there are two ways of doing this. One is using the model method. The other is using algebraic method. So we are going to do both of them. First, let's go to the model method. Right, the same question, and what we are going to have to consider first is the condition. Kim and May have 220 stamps more than Yanti. Let's represent that in the form of a model. Since we know that after more than Yanti comes, Yanti is your reference, we draw a model for Yanti first, and then we draw the model for Kim and May. We see that Kim and May have 220 more than Yanti, right? So now we go to the second statement, which says Yanti and May have 140 stamps more than Kim. So here again, Kim comes after more than, so Kim is your reference. We draw for Kim here a model, and for Yanti and May, they have 140 more than Kim. So these are the diagrams that we have drawn here. And next, we have to look at this. Kim and Yanti have 500 stamps. That's another uh, key point in this case. If you look at it, right, this is Yanti and this is Kim. The unit sizes here, they are different unit sizes, but this and this together is 500, right? So this plus this is 500. So what do you think about this unit here? This is exactly like this unit, the same size as this unit. And, and you look at um, this, this unit here. This is exactly the same as this unit here. So these two together, should be 500, and these two sh together is 500, right? We will make use of this information. See, what I'm going to write down is Kim plus May plus Yanti plus Yanti plus May plus Kim. If I add all of them, right, uh, I would find what is the total number of uh, stamps that they have because here, this plus uh, this is 500, right? And this plus this is 500. And we have re left is 220 and 140. So 500 plus 500 plus 220 plus 140. So that is, when you add all of these, that's the total number of stamps you get, 1,360, right? Now, I'm just going to write that again here. And you see that 
in that you have kin plus me plus the auntie plus kin plus me plus the auntie. There's two groups of the same set of people and that is 1360. If I want to just find out one group that is kin plus me plus the auntie, right? So what I need to do is just divide the total by two to get 680. So now we know the total of what kin plus me plus the auntie is which is 680. And we also know that Kim and Yanti have 500 stamps. So if I want to figure out how much May has, I just have to substitute what Kim plus Yanti has. So that is 500. So May, the number of stamps with May is 680 minus 500. This 500 is Kim plus Yanti. So May has 180 stamps. So this is model method, right? Now let's see how we can uh, go ahead and use algebra method to solve the same problem. I hope you found that the model method was easy, right? Um, let's see how algebra method fares. The same question, I will just go through the questions one again. Kim, May, and Yanti collect stamps. Kim and May have 220 stamps more than Yanti. And Yanti and May have 140 stamps more than Kim. Kim and Yanti have 500 stamps. How many stamps does May have? Now, since it's going to be uh, algebra, we are not going to have any drawings. Instead of drawings, we are just going to write the names there. Kim plus May, right? Kim and May have 220 stamps more than Yanti. So how do you equalize them? That is, Kim and May, right, is equal to Yanti plus 220, which means that Kim and May have 220 more. So if, I, if you add 220 to Yanti, then this Kim and May would be equal to Yanti plus 220. So you can make them equal by adding this 220. And that is how you write this equation for Kim and May have 220 stamps more than Yanti. So in algebra, we will try to write equations for every problem statement that we have. The second one is Yanti and May have 140 stamps more than Kim. So how do we write that? Yanti and this is equation number one. So let's see Yanti plus May, Yanti plus May. And when you say equal to, Kim has 140 less. So Kim plus 140 will be equal to these two people. So that's equation number two for us. And the third equation obviously is Kim and Yanti have 500 stamps. So we can write Kim plus Yanti is equal to 500. So the question is, how many stamps does May have? You take a um, look at this here. You can just go ahead and add all of these, right? The left-hand sides. See, in 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 an algebraic equation, our objective is to make sure that the the validity of this equality status, right, or the relationship, this left-hand side is equal to right hand side. Here left hand side is equal to right hand side. Left hand side is equal to right hand side. If I add all these left hand sides, then they will be equal to the sum of whatever is in there in the right hand sides. So that's third. Now what we have done here is we have added all of that in the left hand side. That is Kim plus May plus Yanti. That is shown here. Plus May plus Kim plus Yanti. May plus Kim plus Yanti, that is equal to, on the right hand side, you have Yanti plus 220 plus Kim plus 140 plus 500, right? And you know that this Kim and Yanti, Kim plus Yanti is equal to 500 according to equation 3. We can substitute that also there, all right? So that is 500 and you will see that Kim and Yanti, here also you have a Kim and Yanti, and here also we have a Kim and Yanti. 
So their value is also already known to be 500. So we can substitute 500 for them as well. So what happens is 500 plus main plus again here, this is 500 plus main is equal to here. These two together is 500 plus 220 plus 140 plus 500. So from now on, it's just a simple um, question of uh, eliminating and solving this problem. So if you say MA plus main, right? And we are just canceling our 500 here, 500 here, with the 500 here and 500 here. So both sides, we uh, subtract 1,000. So this goes, this 1,000 goes here, and this 1,000 also goes here. So remaining is 220 plus 140, which is 360. That is 2 of May is equal to 360. So just May alone would have um, 180 stamps. It's a, uh, I have a feeling that the answer is hidden. So it's, it's just below the uh, place where you can see. But you, the results, you can know that May the total number of stamps of May is going to be 360 divided by 2, which is 180 stamps. I hope this was uh, useful. Um, this particular problem, when you look at it, just reading the question, that may sound a bit complex. But if you just start writing it down, then or breaking it down into small pieces and writing it down, then it will be more clear for you on how you want to solve the problem. So whenever you see a problem, don't start thinking in your mind. Just break it down, write it down into steps, and then you will find a way on how to resolve that, right? So we have seen both model method and algebraic method of solving this. Although here, I've just used the names directly instead of using x, y, or z, but it's meaning the, the solution is what matters for us. So if you understand this, that's great. Uh, if you like the video, um, like, uh, put a like, uh, click on the like button there. And uh, if you want to subscribe, just subscribe my channel, click on the bell button if you want to receive any updates from my channel. Keep watching and practicing. And I'm sure you will find math a lot more fun uh, if you practice more. So have a great day. If you have any questions, do put it in the comment section. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you very much. And this question was also asked by one of our viewers. So this is for that uh, viewer. And I'm really sorry that I took, I think, probably more than a week to answer um, that uh, user. So I'm really sorry for that. I will try to make sure that I answer your questions as soon as possible. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye.